Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to learn how to hide a navbar on the login page in Angular project, which already has a login page built by Tailwind CSS. This is a common problem developers face when working with Angular applications. And I am going to show you a straightforward and effective solution. So let's jump right in. Before we start, let's quickly recap here is our Angular application where we have a landing page created using Tailwind CSS. And you can see the navigation bar at the top, which appears on every page, including the login page. Our goal today is to hide this nav bar when user is at the login page. Now let us create a new service to control the visibility of our nav bar. So in your terminal or command line, type this command ng generate service and services slash navbar. This will generate a service with nav with the name navbar.service.ts in our app directory. So in our navbar service, we will create a behavior subject that will emit a Boolean value to either show or hide the navbar. If you are not familiar with the behavior subject, it is a type of subject from RxJS library that can hold and emit the current value. So now let's write our code. So here we will define a property show navbar and the type would be behavior subject. So make sure to import this from RxJS. The type of data inside this subject would be Boolean. All right, now inside the constructor, we will give it a default value that would be this show navbar equal to new behavior subject and you have to pass a default value to this subject that is true now we will define two functions hide and display all right so this service exposes a behavior subject show navbar and two methods hide and display to change its value right now we don't have any navbar component yet i will show you in the app component our navbar is available here so first of all we need to generate a navbar component first so that we could move this code in the navbar component so for that use this code ng generate c navbar and press enter this will generate a navbar component in the app directory and now I will cut this code from here and move it to the navbar component okay now here instead I will use app dot dash navbar now if you check your browser you will see nothing is changed yet so now uh, let's add to our navbar component in the TypeScript file. We will inject our navbar service in the constructor. So first of all, de define the constructor. And now in this constructor, I'm going to inject navbar. And then we will subscribe to show navbar behavior subject when it when its value changes our navbar visibility will change accordingly so first of all i will have uh, two properties here show navbar boolean and second one would be subscription Make sure to import this property uh, from RxJS and then in the constructor, I will use this dot subscription dot is equal to this dot never service dot show never dot subscribe. And in this subscription subscribe function, we will pass a callback function and this callback function will receive a value from that behavior subject now i will use that value this dot show navbar is equal to 
value. I will give it default value that would be true. Now I will define a lifecycle hook on destroy so that we could unsubscribe to this subscription as well if component is destroyed from the DOM. So for that I need to implement on destroy and then here I will create ng on destroy and then we will use subscription dot unsubscribe. So this would be beneficial for the performance otherwise it will uh, reduce the performance because we don't want to keep subscriptions uh, if a component is destroyed from the DOM. And now in our navbar components template we will conditionally display the navbar using angular directive ng if so let's do that here I will use ng if and I will use your navbar. All right, now navigate to the login component. Here we will use our navbar service to hide navbar when the component initializes and show it again when the component is destroyed. So let's do that in the TypeScript component. First of all, I will inject my navbar service with the help of constructor use private navbar service now here i will implement two lifecycle hooks one is on init and second one would be on destroy make sure to import these from angular code like i did here and now let's define these functions ng on init and ng on destroy. Now here I will call a function this dot this dot hide. So as soon as the login page will be loaded, it will immediately hide call this hide function and this hide function will result the adder to hide. And now we will call another function that is display. And that's it. Now, if you navigate to your login page, you will notice that navbar is gone. So, as you can see here. So it appears once you navigate away from the login page. So let me add a button so that we could navigate navigate back so in the html here i will add a back button and here i will add a router link and i will keep it empty or maybe slash okay now click on that all right you can see now I am on my landing page and the navbar is visible. If I click on the login button, then navbar would be invisible. So this small trick can help to declutter your login interface and direct your users focus to where it matters. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you found this video helpful. Drop your questions if you have any in the comment section below and we will respond as quickly as possible. In our next video, we will cover more advanced topics in Angular. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching and happy coding. Goodbye.